Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we're going to be talking about my luxury bags that have the best cost per wear. So stay tuned. Remind me of 12th grade, remind me of young shade, feel like a new shoe, remind me of old games, taste like an ice cold, taste like a mango, feel like some new socks, taste like an angel, she look like a Badu. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary, because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. So today I wanted to do a hopefully quick and cool video about the luxury bags that I have in my collection that have the best cost per wear. If you guys were able to see my handbag collection videos a couple of weeks back, you guys probably know that collectively I have like over a hundred bags. And one of the things that I have started in 2023 is really taking inventory of those bags and um, kind of creating a little spreadsheet on which bags I'm wearing, how often I'm wearing them in the month, with the idea that at the end of the year, I'm going to just kind of reconsolidate like what I think are the important bags in my collection, especially since I have so many. And I feel like I want to downsize, but I also feel like I don't want to have remorse by giving anything away or selling anything that I can't get back, unfortunately. So I thought it would be cool just to show a couple of the bags that I have in my collections that are specifically luxury bags that have the best cost per wear for me. So if you don't know what cost per wear is, it's pretty easy. It is the cost of the item divided by the number of times that you have worn it. Um, and that's that. And really it helps you kind of figure out like, are you actually wearing this piece? Um, was it worth the price based on how much you're wearing it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't have the exact calculation of cost per wear because I actually did not do this uh, last year, but I can definitely say over the life of some of these items I'm going to show you, I have just worn them so much that they've either paid for themselves or they've almost paid for themselves. So let's get right into it and let me show you the bags. The first bag on the list is this Chanel Sweet Classic Flap. Um, when I got this bag in 2020 or 2021, I wore this bag so much for several years. I probably didn't wear it as much um, as I usually do last year, but I've worn this so much. I paid uh, $4,600 for this bag. I have not worn it 4,600 times, but I feel like I've worn it enough times at this point where I've really just got my wear out of it. I mean, this has been just a great versatile bag in the collection. It goes with so much, and this is probably like one of my summer staple bags. I literally have worn this bag so much. It's just easy. It's light. It's nice. There's a video on this bag if you want more information, but this is definitely one of the bags that's on that list for having like great cost per wear. Another bag that is on the list is my Chanel Pearl bag. Um, another bag that I got in either 2019 or 2020. I know that there is a video of this bag being unboxed. I have worn this bag so much. I, it was probably going to be between this one and the little silver mini that I have um, because I wore that one a ton as well. But this one um, has just really stood up well to the test of time. Again, this is another bag that was $4,000. It was $4,200. Um, I have not worn it 4,200 times, but I have worn it a ton where I do feel like the amount that I've worn it kind of justifies the cost ish. I mean, can you really justify the $4,000 cost? You, you get what I'm saying though. Um, this one went with me to Lisbon for two weeks. I wore this pretty much every single day. This is like my go to. I need a small black bag. I'm going to her. She's the bag that I'm 100% going to all the time. This list wouldn't be a list without my YSL puffer. Um, this is the size medium. There's definitely a video out on this bag as well. This has been a staple, definitely wintertime bag. I've had so many videos about this bag. I adore this bag. 
and um it has just really got this cost from wear from cost per wear from like day one i'm pretty sure that i wore this like the day after i purchased it um and this is kind of one of the only navy bags that i have i think the other navy bag i have is like a coach bag and it has jacquard on it if i'm not mistaken but this is like the only you know navy bag that i have it's great for winter it fits so much and it's one that I always gravitate gravitate to and I think I got this one I want to say in 2021 so I've had her for about a year and a half to two years and have gotten a chance to wear her a ton this bag oh god if only the prices were like this again I want to say that I paid either $1,900 or $2,100 for this bag um Again, I have not worn it um, 1,900 times or uh, 2,100 times, but I've worn it a ton that the price for this bag has definitely gone down based on the cost of cost per wear. This list would not be this list if I did not recognize the padded cassette. Um, this bag is so great for me. Um, it fits just enough. I figured out how to use the, the clasp. I remember when I first got this bag, I'm like, this clasp is, this is a no for me. And so I didn't wear it as often, like when I first, first got it. I think I got this one in 2019 or 2020, um, maybe closer to 2020, if I'm not mistaken. I was able to snag this, I want to say for $1,600 or $1,900. Um, this bag is like, $3,500 or $4,000 now, which is insane to me. Um, but this is like my, I wear this bag so much. It is, to me, the colorway goes with everything. It fits just enough. I don't carry a lot, um, but it fits just enough. It's the incognito bag. It's very easy to wear. I would probably wear it with this outfit that I have on right now. It's just an easy grab and go, not heavy, just comfortable, just inconspicuous bag that you can wear anywhere and you don't have to worry about it. And I gravitate to this bag a lot. Like if I'm, again, if I'm going anywhere, I'm gonna gravitate to this bag. Whatever it is with the tone of this blue, it goes with any color on under the rainbow and it looks good with whatever color under the rainbow. So this is another bag that I have worn so much that has definitely got its cost per wear. Um, maybe it's the cost of a contemporary bag now based on how much I've been able to wear this. The last bag that I'm going to feature is my little Gucci um, mini Super Marmot bag um, with the gold chain, of course. Uh, I think that there are videos about this bag. Um, this was one of my first luxury bags and this was absolutely the first luxury bag that I ever purchased. Um, from a brand and not from a um a reseller like a fashion file or something i actually got this um on the gucci site online so this was my very first you know luxury experience and when i first got this bag i literally wore this every single day like this was my everyday bag this bag was 860 dollars 90 dollars something to that effect um, when I got it, the price hasn't gone up too, too much. I think it's like a thousand and some change now. Um, I would say that this has at least gotten maybe not 890 wares, but maybe it's gotten two, three, four hundred wares. I mean, I literally wore this bag every single day for like a year or a period of time that was maybe more than a year. So this definitely got its cost per wear um and even though it's small like it fits your phone again i don't carry a ton so i mean if you don't have pouches which i usually carry everything in pouches you can have your lipstick in here your lip gloss your keys your hand sanitizer your wallet um your phone all your things fit in here and i always like this is i only have two red bags in my collection i have this bag and then i have the ysl nikki um and this one is always just the vibe like the ysl nikki is obviously very large in comparison it's size medium where this is just easy 
throw on, you need a pop of color, but you're not trying to do too much, it's this bag. Um, so we've had some really great times together. We, I haven't worn her as much. I think I wore her like recently a couple months ago, but I haven't worn her as much. Um, but you know, she's, she's continuously in some type of rotation, but at one time in her life, she was in the daily, daily rotation. The last bag, I said that that one was the last bag, but I'm going to give an honorable mention to another bag. I just got this bag last summer, so I cannot say that it is totally gotten its cost per wear. But as it relates to other bags in its genre in my closet, I have to give this a little heads up. And I feel like you already know this. This is the YSL um, Ikari Tote or I Care Tote. I got this bag last August. And I mean, so I guess it has not been a year yet, right? I use this bag so much. And I, you guys have seen this bag in so many freaking videos of mine. Um, I just use this so much. This is the tote that I go to nine out of ten times when I need a tote bag. I go to, into the office once a week. This is oftentimes the bag that I'm going to bring for that. Um, if I'm just going to be out and about chilling, but I want to carry like a big bag, this is going to be the bag that I'm going to bring for that. Um, this bag I paid $3,050 for. I know now it's pretty much $5,000, $4,900, um, now for this bag. But what I will say is like, you know, com this, I mean, it's a luxury bag. $3,000 is a lot of freaking money. Um, based on how I've worn it, um, and how much I've had the opportunity to wear it, um, it's something that works really, really, really well for my collection. I don't know why I'm hugging it like this. Um, but it, it works really well for my collection, works really well for my wardrobe. So I don't regret the purchase of this. It has not gotten all of its cost per wear yet, but I would say give me a couple of, give me a couple of years. This will be at zero dollars. Sure, seriously. Like this is just the perfect they did a, such a good job. This is the perfect tote. Sometimes you need a tote that's just a big sack of shenanigans. And this is what this is. And I love it so much. And those are my top bags that just get the most cost per wear in my wardrobe today. And I'm always interested to see like you know, what that looks like in your collection. I feel like when you are a collector of bags, and maybe I won't speak about everybody, but I'll speak about myself. I'm very impulsive. I like a thing. I want a thing. I get a thing. I'm going to get that thing in like five other colors, and then it might sit on my shelf for a while, or I might wear it once in a blue moon. And so I am really trying to, that is going to be my goal for 2023, is to do an assessment. And then my 2024, just figure out what bags I want to keep in my collection, which one are really serving me, which ones I'm really drawn to and wearing, and just not being so obsessed with having like so many pretty things and just having them because they're pretty. So wish me luck um, in this journey, but I think it's going to be fun, right? At least for me, it's going to be fun just to downsize a little bit and then just kind of wear all the things that I literally gravitate to all the time. So that is it. Thank you so much for uh, joining me again for another What I'm On Today weekend. Um, if you are new to this channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Um, we are at 1,800 subscribers now, and you know what happens when we get to that 2,000 mark. We're doing another giveaway, and um, I don't know what brands I'm obsessing about right now, but I feel like this might be something a little cool that we'll do for a giveaway. I haven't thought about it yet, but I don't know. My brain's, my brain's working. So, um, you know, send whoever you like to my channel. The more, the merrier. Um, those of you who've been riding with me from the beginning, thank you so much. Appreciate you spending again another weekend with what I'm on today. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday or Saturday. Bye.